need someone to explain this. If tangent theta is equal to 2, and theta is in between of pi and 3 pi over 2, then we are going to find the values of the other trig functions. Okay, this is what I would suggest you to do. The key is to use a reference triangle. And to do so, we first look at the angle theta. It says it's going from pi to 3 pi over 2. They are just a radian measure. Pi is the same as 180 degrees, and 3 pi over 2 is the same as 270 degrees. So the angle that we want is in the third quadrant. Because if you look at the xy plane right here, this is 0, 90, 180, and 270 degrees. We want the picture to be right here. Now, start with tangent theta is equal to 2. Usually, we say tangent is the opposite over adjacent, but that's only when you have a right triangle. When you are on the xy plane, this right here is a better definition for you to remember. Note, when we have tangent theta, this right here is y over x. And really, it's the same as opposite over adjacent once you have the reference triangle. Well, if you look at 2, you can put the 2 as 2 over 1. But here's the problem for that. If you say 2 is the y and 1 is the x, well, 1 comma 2. 1 right here, 2 right here, you have a point, you draw a reference triangle, that is going to be in the first quadrant. That's not correct, because the angle theta is between this and that. We have to be in the third quadrant. Well, the key for this question is that in the third quadrant, both x and y, they are negative. So, in fact, for the 2 over 1, we are going to look at this as negative 2 over negative 1. When you divide them, we still end up with positive 2, so this is correct. Now, right here, take that for the y, and take this for the x. x is negative 1, let's say it is somewhere right here, and then y is negative 2, let's say it is somewhere down here. So we have a point right here, and then we are just going to draw from the origin to the point. And then remember, when you want to draw a reference triangle, you always go from the point either up or down to the x-axis. Never connect it to the y-axis. So in this case, we go up, so it'll be right here. And this is the reference triangle that we are going to use. Have a look. This side right here is negative 1, and then this side right here is negative 2 you have to put the negatives. These values right here, some of them are going to be negative. Now, we just have to figure out the hypotenuse, which is this distance here, and usually we call the r. Well, for r, r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, because here we have a right triangle, so this is just the Pythagorean theorem. So, r squared equals x is negative 1, square that, and y is negative 2, square that. Then we see r squared is equal to 1 plus 4, which is 5. So I'm just going to write down 5. And then take the square roots to both sides, and we have r is equal to plus or minus square root of 5. However, when you are doing this kind of questions, you always have r being positive. So I'll just say r being positive, so you just say r is equal to square root of 5. So r is always positive. x and y could be negative, just like in this case. Now we have this right triangle, and this is the reference triangle. You can just think about it. It's a right triangle that helps us get the answers for this. And the reason I put on a tangent is because this is a nice water line to have. We have sine, cosine, tangent. Sine divided by cosine is equal to tangent. I know tangent is 2, but I still really want to have it here. Cosecant is 1 over sine. Secant is 1 over cosine. And cotangent is 1 over tangent. Now we just have to fill this out. For tangent, it's easy. It's just 2, given. Cotangent is... 1 over that, so just 1 half. So that's also pretty much for free, right? Now for sine, look at this 
reference triangle and can do the usual business, which is opposite over hypotenuse, negative 2 over square root of 5. And depending if you have to rationalize the denominator or not, if you do, just multiply the top and bottom by square root of 5. I'm going to leave that to you. And for cosecant, once you have signed, this is just the reciprocal of it. So that's just square root of 5 over negative 2. You can put a negative in the front or down here, it doesn't matter. So that's a negative 2. For cosine, it is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is negative 1 over square root of 5. And then for secant, it's just the reciprocal. Square root of 5 over negative 1 is just negative square root of 5. And then we are done, just like that. By the way, if you also want to use the definition I mentioned earlier, tangent is y over x. But for cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, that's technically x over r. Sine is opposite, which is the y value, and over r. So you can also use this to get this answer, same thing. Hope this helps, that's it.